Are you avoiding me? No, of course not. Did De Martin turn up last night? Yeah, yeah, he did. Well, come on then, tell me what happened. Look, he's not going to bother you again. Really? Well, what did you say to him? Oh, look, I can't remember exactly. It's just, uh, I warned him off. He's not going to tell Dad about me and Tarek now, is he? No. Oh, you're the best brother in the whole world. I can't wait to tell Tarek. You really let me down yesterday, Martin. What about you? That store was in a right state after they carted you off. Ruined my trainers. I'll have to buy some new ones. I'm not giving you more money. All right. Right, well, I think I might have to take Brian out for a pint. I haven't had much of a chat with him yet. This isn't right. They cost a packet good trainers. Catch you later. Have fun. Giving you grief? <laughs> no, <laughs> Teenagers, you know. Oh, tell me about it. I've been there twice myself. <laughs> Morning, Brian. Morning. Money earlier. It's not enough. You really are pushing this thing. I'm not a liar like you and Mum, am I? Glad when this is all over. There. Your present and correct. Oh, Brian, it, uh, thanks so much for helping out, but I mean... Why well, shouldn't you be packing? It'll only take a couple of ticks. Besides, I feel partly responsible. Partly? <laughs> no, no, seriously, though, no, it's been great. I haven't enjoyed myself so much in ages. Me neither. We should do it again. Yeah. Tell me to mind my own business if you like, but uh, I couldn't help what to say. What's that? You and Martin, he's taking advantage, isn't he? No! I've got eyes, Dale. I've seen you handling him money a couple of times, and you didn't look too happy. You mistake? No, I admit it. He's blackmailing you, isn't he? Martin, are you going to sit around here all day doing nothing? Because if you want to make yourself useful, that bathroom needs cleaning. I'm um, sorry, Mum, I can't. Well, why not? It, uh, it's, it's as if uh, he's in a right state about his exams. Oh. Well, that's what I was doing yesterday, you know, I, I was helping him, testing him on questions. I know how important it is to him. Oh, Martin, that's so thoughtful. <laughs> I might not be over for tea. Is that all right? Stepchildren syndrome. They think they've got the upper hand because you want to keep them sweet. You can't cave in. You're just making a rod for your own back. Yes, yeah, it's... You're right, I suppose. I sound like a nagging wife. <laughs> It can't be easy taking on someone else's family. And then Martin is at that difficult age. You'll get through it. Yeah, I, I certainly am so. Hey, you got my jackets? No. What? They're just doing that, all right? So what exactly am I meant to tell my mates? Whatever you like. Mine! Nice of you to join us, Martin. Everything all right, Brian? Wonderful. You're a terrific cook, Pauline. Oh, thank you. Tell you what, why don't we go to the Vic? Uh, oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Hair of the dog, Dale. Oh. You come in, Pauline. Drinks on me. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I did promise Dot I'd pop round and see her, but uh, you two go. Are you sure? Yes, I mean, I don't want to cramp your style. You can sit there and swap your rude old army stories without making me blush. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You seem like a fairly broad-minded lady to me. Oh, I am. There's a lot you don't know about me. Me and Martin will do that, won't we, Martin? Are you sure? You just go and get them in, we won't be a tick. Oh. Yeah, but you're the guest. I insist. Thank right. you. See you there. All right, hand it over. What? Now, you know what I'm talking about, this 90 quid you just squeezed out of Dell. 90? It was 60? We can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. It's up to you. You lay a finger on me. Yeah, and what will you do? Tell your mum. That'd make an interesting conversation. What do you think? Dell is a mate of mine, and I don't like seeing him blackmailed by a snotty nosed kid. You try and be a good boy from now on. All right, Sonny. Look, this is no good. I can't, I can't carry on with this. It's a lie. It's all a sham. Paul and I are not married, never will be. We're living in sin. Uh, no, 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 you, you, you've got it all wrong. Pauline and I will never be together in any respect because I am gay. When you said you were coming, I panicked. I've been a terrible coward, I'm sorry. I wondered when you'd crack. 
What? I know, Dell. You know how? Richard Tony. Richard Porter from the regiment. Told me a while back that you were, uh, what do they call it back then, um, a confirmed bachelor. <laughs> When I realised you didn't want to tell me, I played along with it. I didn't want to feel embarrassed. So you let me make a complete idiot of myself, eh? And what winded me up about not having any wedding photographs? I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I kept a straight face. <sighs> Richard Porter. Well, trust him to find out. <sighs> you should have trusted me, Dale. It doesn't matter to me in the slightest. I mean, friends are friends, right? Right. I mean, I've really got to be going. Uh, there's one other thing. This is yours, I believe. Martin had a change of heart. You are a good friend. I meant what I said. You really have got it made. Pauline's a wonderful girl. And to do what she's done, she must be mad about you. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to a good thing. What am I supposed to do for money now? That's nothing to do with me, mate. I needed that money. Tough. I didn't get the jackets, did I? What did you tell Ash? Ah, oh, well, he knew most of it. Of course, I wouldn't want to be you when he gets hold of you. <laughs> you didn't tell him? Why not? Why should I take the fall for you? You moron! You've dropped me in it! Well, you shouldn't have tried to have been so clever then, should you? <sighs> you owe me mine! Get lost! <laughs> 